Hey guys, what's up? Toba Loco here, and today we are doing FIFA 21 simulates and predicts the whole of the footballing season for 2020 to 2021. So what that means is I'm not just doing the Premier League, as you can see I am managing Liverpool, but I'm going to simulate it so we can find out the Premier League winners, the La Liga winners, Serie A winners, uh, you, you, you get the idea, every single winner of the whole um, uh, footballing world in every single country. Okay, so that's what we're going to do today. A quick and easy video just to see what FIFA thinks. I'm hoping that this time around career mode isn't broken. I will um, do career mode properly. Um, I will do a couple of uh, videos on it um, just to see what it's like in detail. But this video isn't going to be career mode in detail. It's literally just a simulation, okay? So I'm not going to do any transfers or anything like that. I'm literally just going to simulate the whole thing. Okay, so, um, yeah. Uh, here we go, um, we're just literally going to be doing uh, this, it's cool that you can literally like set training days and that I can see on here, like you can set training days and stuff like that, which is pretty cool, but we're not here for that, we're not here for that at all, um, we're here to basically just simulate the whole thing. It does seem like a little bit more manageable on this though, it does seem like you can do more on this. Um, you know, so like if I wanted to I can set that day a rest day as a training day And then that's a recovery day and you know all those sort of things. Um, so we're gonna see every single competition um, So we're gonna go to January uh, 2021 and See where we are at with the leaks. I'll see you there. Okay. We are in January 2021 we're gonna have a look at the uh, the uh, leagues around the world and hopefully it will give us an idea on what's happening um, with the seasons. I'm hoping it's not broken like it was last time so if you are interested that's the Argentine League Independiente or whatever first and um, Bruno Zeri second. Um, I don't really know too much about that league so we might just leave it alone. Um, A-League, Melbourne City are winning that at the moment and Perth second, again, not really a league I'm, I'm really that interested in. The Austria League maybe, um, Lask are winning that league, uh, they're unbeaten at the moment so I don't know, maybe um, career mode is a little bit broken. Uh, Club Bruges um, and uh, Ghent and Liège and Anderlecht, basically the teams you always see at the top of the Belgian league. Um, Genk are quite down there though, they're, they're 7th at the moment so we'll just skip to the bigger ones, we don't we don't care about these other leagues, like the Chinese league, like, we, we don't have any subscribers that care about that sort of stuff, right? Okay, so it's not showing the Prem, that's fine, I'll, I'll show you the Prem in a minute, but um, Championship, if you care about that, um, Stoke City, Nottingham Forest, Preston, Sheffield, well, Sheffield Wednesday, even Brentford and Watford are in those positions, and Norwich and uh, Bournemouth just slightly behind. Um, as we are halfway through the season, um, who are at the bottom in the relegation zones? We have Barnsley, Wickham and Luton Town. Okay, it's going to show League One uh, if you're interested in that. Ipswich, Sunderland, Fleetwood Town, Portsmouth, Hull City and Blackpool in the, the top six at the moment. Very, very close at the moment so you can't really tell who's going to actually win it. Um, who's in the relegation zones? We've got um, Crewe, Accrington, Rochdale, Wimbledon. And we go into League Two. We've got Salford at the top, uh, Newport, Mansfield, Exeter, Forest Green, and Crawley. Bolton are seventh. Um, it's insane how Bolton, Bolton are in League Two now. They, like only a few years ago, they were in the Premiership. It's mental. Um, and then it doesn't really say the um, relegation standings, but I know that. I think three or two go down, and I think Stevenage and Barrow are in those positions. Okay, so we've got um, why did why is it not showing the normal French league? Ah, oh, there we go, normal French league. <laughs> uh, PSG at top of that one, um, and then Lyon and Marseille and uh, Lille are in those ones. So who's at the bottom of that one? Uh, the the usual the usual couple, I guess. I guess I don't know. Okay, so we've got the Bundesliga, Hamburger, uh, why is it showing, I don't know why it doesn't show the Bundesliga first. Okay, so we've got Dortmund top of the league on that one, Bayern, Wolfsburg and Leipzig in the top four, and then Gladbach and Frankfurt um, just behind them there. There's all very close, apart from maybe Bayern and Dortmund that pulled away a little bit. Um, who's in the relegation zone for this one? Um, I don't know those teams. I know Union Berlin and I know Augsburg, but... 
Uh, Bielfield, they must be a new one to me. Okay, so Serie A, we've got Juventus at the top. They've only lost once um, so far. Inter, Atalanta and Milan share the top four. Uh, and then we've got Lazio and Roma um, at the top there. Uh, Roma, unlicensed. Love to see it, don't you? FIFA losing licenses for big teams. I hate that sort of stuff. We'll make our way over to the Dutch League. A few of you would like to know that one, I guess. Ajax, Feyenoord, uh, AZ Akmar and uh, PSV are in the top four. No real change there, really, is there? Um, and then, um, as we keep going along, Polish League, we don't care about that really, do we? Um, Porto, uh, a top of the Portuguese League, supporting CP. Benfica are quite far, far down, They're quite... About, about 10 points behind Porto. Um, if you care about that, Celtic are top and Rangers are second. There's no real change in the Scottish League really, is there? Let's move on for that one. And um, top of La Liga Santander, we have Atletico Madrid, FC Barcelona, Real Madrid, Villarreal and Sevilla and Valencia. So that's um, a little bit um, surprising to see Atletico at top. But remember, we've got the duo of Suarez and... Um, Costa, that's going to be so exciting to see throughout the season. And then we got the smaller teams at the bottom there. Turkish League, uh, we've got Fenerbahce at top, uh, Galatasaray, Brasiktas, uh, Besiktas, uh, and Trabzonspor in, in the top five, I guess. I don't really sure how the Turkish League works, but I'm sure there's a few that want to see it. So that's what FIFA thinks at the moment. Um, and then you've got the MLS here as well. Um, with Seattle on top, but I know there's um, the um, MLS is a playoff sort of um, division sort of thing. So yeah, that's your leagues at the moment. We'll check the cup competitions after we get to the end of the um, the. Oh no, we need to check the Premier League. Sorry, we need to check the Premier League. That's important. We need to check the Prem. Spurs are on top. Arsenal are joint. Um, top with them. They've both got the same record, uh, so it doesn't seem doesn't seem as broken as it was last year. We've got Leicester City third, Liverpool third, fourth, uh, Manchester City fifth, Chelsea sixth, Wolves seventh, Manchester United eighth, uh, Burnley ninth, Everton tenth. Even though Everton are top at the moment, remember, um, Brighton eleventh, Newcastle twelfth, Leeds United thirteenth, fourteenth West Ham, fifteenth Crystal Palace, sixteenth Fulham, Aston Villa seventeenth, Sheffield United eighteenth, Southampton nineteenth, and West Brom dead last with only ten points. Um, so, do you agree with FIFA's um, predictions at the moment? Let me know, and let me know your end predictions as well. Um, we're going to simulate the rest of the season now and see um, what the game thinks that we're going to uh, we're going to get. I have to say, career mode does seem a little bit more promising this year. It doesn't seem as broken. You don't see teams going unbeaten as much as you did last season. Last season, it was just mental how many teams would go unbeaten. Um, you know, just to. It, it, it was mental. Most teams were gone beaten, and if you played career mode, it was impossible to catch up with teams like Liverpool, Man City, or whoever because they were just going unbeaten. It was crazy. But anyway, I'll see you for the second part of the simulation in June. Okay, we're at the 1st of June. It took a while, but we got there. We're going to check the leagues. The first league we're going to check is the Premier League. Um, so here we go, we got it. And as we can see um, from the standings, that Spurs have won the league by four points. Now, this seems a little bit more realistic than um, what happened with um, last year's simulation. Obviously, I tried it and it failed because um, most teams went unbeaten, which is so stupid. This seems to be a little bit more realistic, kind of. Okay, so we've got Spurs top just by four points. Um, then Liverpool came second, Manchester City came third, Arsenal came fourth, Chelsea came fifth, which might be a little bit uh, surprising to some people, Chelsea coming fifth with the money they spent and stuff, but it's not like, um, you know, money 
wins everything, right? Um, and then we've got Wolves in sixth, Leicester in seventh, eighth Manchester United. I can see that happening the way they're struggling right now. Um, of course, they only just signed Cavani. Like, I've only just seen that pop up on the news. So, yeah, so we'll have to see what happens there. Then 20 points behind them, you have Burnley in ninth. Then Everton in tenth. I can't really see Everton finishing tenth. I think they're going to have a strong finish this season. I feel that, like, from their strong start. West Ham 11th, Aston Villa 12th, Brighton 13th, Sheffield United 14th, Newcastle 15th, Fulham 16th, Leeds 17th. I can't really see that happening. Leeds have been okay as well uh, at the moment. They've been okay. Crystal Palace 18th, 19th Southampton, and West Brom in 20th. Okay, so that's what the game thinks the Premier League is going to be like. We're going to look at the cup competitions before we have a look at the other leagues. Okay, so let's have a look. So um, they think that, that they got that wrong instantly. Arsenal won that, but it did go to penalties. So the game almost got it right. Penalties are always very random in real life anyway. So the game wouldn't have been able to predict that. Simulations are on FIFA games are pretty random, but I feel that... Um, the game kind of got it close. I mean, it, I mean, obviously it's a 50-50 chance, but the fact that they thought that um, one of them went on penalties is quite, um, quite surprising. There. Okay, so we got the uh, FA Cup winners. We got Everton. Um, yeah, you could make a, a claim that Everton um, could win the FA Cup this year. Like they've got a really strong midfield. Calvert Lewin is a great striker as well. Man United get into the final of the FA Cup, possibly if they've got a good run, like a good run of smaller teams. But I can't see them like being team bigger teams, right? Uh, I don't know. At the moment, not very much. Um, so we got the um, EFL Cup. Liverpool won that one, so they got more silverware in um, in. in like the year after they won the Prem, so brilliant stuff there for Liverpool against West Ham, 3-0. We have the Super Cup on it, obviously the game knew that, and we got Bayern doing back-to-back -back Champions League final appearances and winning it against Juventus. I always said that Juventus will win the Champions League this year, so that's my personal predi prediction, kind of close. But the game thinks Bayern will win it again. That's very interesting. Um, so Bayern do it again. That's that's very interesting. What do you guys think about that one? Um, Europa League, Bayern Leverkusen on penalties. So Bayern Leverkusen um, finally gets some silverware. Ajax missing out there. Um, and I think that's it for the cup competitions. Yeah, it is. Okay, so we got those. Um, we're going to have a look at the other leagues in the world. We won't have a look at the smaller leagues and stuff. Um, yeah, I think the Argentine League and all these leagues like don't really sort of um, co like sort of coincide with like the Western leagues, like um, the Spanish, the the English um, leagues and stuff like that. I don't think they coincide. So yeah, um, you have to have to see that. But uh, if you're interested, Club Bruges won the Belgian league. Um, no, we don't really want the Brazil League, or the Chinese League, or the uh, Danish League. Okay, we've got the EFL Championship, Nottingham Forest, top that one. Then you've got Watford coming in second, and then in the potential playoff spots, uh, you have Brentford, Norwich, West uh, Preston even, and Stoke City. Bournemouth missing out just on goal difference there by by about about 12 goals I think um, but yeah um, very unlucky Bournemouth Sheffield Wednesday came 8th Derby County 9th Cardiff 10th uh, Bristol City 12th so who's at the bottom of the championship so we got Luton Barnsley and Wickham Wickham newly promoted of course to the championship um, maybe it might be a bit too small to stay up maybe I don't know but I don't really follow the championship so I haven't followed it since the overall were in there so I couldn't tell you Okay, League One, you've got Sunderland automatic promotion. You've got Fleetwood automatic promotion as well. That's big for Fleetwood in the championship. That's really good. Um, Hull City, Peterborough, Ipswich and Portsmouth um, in the playoffs. Um, Bristol Road was missing out there. Um, are very unlucky there. Uh, who was at the bottom? We've got Wigan and Charlton near the bottom as well, two kind of big teams. We've got Lincoln, Rochdale Accrington going straight back down and Wimbledon as well. League 2, let's have a look, so Southwood got promoted, then he lost 4 games, um, Mansfield, Crawley, Newport and Exeter and Tranmere and Southend, there's, there's more, there seems to be more playoff spots um, for League 2, 
Why is that? Can someone tell me that? Bolton almost um, snuck in there, but they have to have another season and League 2 for the 21-22 season. Who came at the bottom? Just to have a look. Got um, Cambridge, Barrow and Harrogate. So Barrow and Harrogate would have gone down, I think, in that league, I think. Okay, so... Um, we only care about this league. Of course PSG won it, but they had close close competition this time from uh, uh, Marseille. Uh, Lyon were about sort of 11 points behind and Monaco were far, were far behind as well, quite far behind. But yeah, PSG had to really put up a fight against Marseille for that one. Uh, who got relegated from this one? Uh, Metz, Laurent and Dijon. Okay, that's, that's fine I guess. Um, Bundesliga 2, if you are interested, the Hamburger FC got promoted. Um, that's the only team I know in that one. Uh, Liga 3, if you are interested, those three teams got um, promoted. But what we have talked about is the Bundesliga, and Bayern Munich won the Bundesliga again. Beat Dortmund by 10 points. Remember, Dortmund were in um, a good position at the start, uh, no, the middle of the season to clinch the league, but they must have bottled it. Leipzig, Mönchengladbach, Leverkusen, um, Stuttgart um, in the top six. Who got relegated from that one? Um, Mainz, Freiburg and Union Berlin, if you are interested in that. Serie A, we have Inter Milan winning the league, pipping Juventus by two points. That is mad. That is absolutely mad. Inter Milan reshaping Italian football there. Um, but the current climate. But remember, Juve have won it, I think, what, like eight times in a row or something now? Napoli in third, uh, AC Milan in fourth, Atalanta fifth, Lazio sixth, Roma in seventh. Um, and then at the bottom we have um, Hellas Verona, Parma, and Benevento. Okay, we don't care about the J League or the K League. Um, we, we care about the Dutch League. Uh, AZ um, won it. Um, by by goal difference, by the looks of it, um, against Ajax, so Ajax came second, Feyenoord came third, and PSV in fourth. All very tight there, um, the top four. So yeah, the Dutch league would be quite exciting if you watch that. Okay, um, moving on, we will look at the I think it's a Spanish league coming up now. Um, yeah, I think it actually. Oh no, the Scottish Premiership, if you are interested, Celtic win it again. I mean, no surprise there, I guess. Okay, here we go. So, Real Madrid get 100 points. Uh, Atletico were top in the middle of the season, but they kind of fallen off a bit. Um, FC Barcelona second. And look how far Barcelona are from Real Madrid. They are literally almost, they're 24 points behind them. That is mental. Real Madrid going on an absolute tear there. Um, Athletic Club in fourth, Valencia in fifth, Villarreal in sixth, and then you've got Sevilla and Sociedad just behind them, and then you've got the usual teams near the bottom there. Um, that's the second league, if you care about that. Um, so this does seem this year that um, career mode is a little bit more balanced and I think when I play it it'll be a lot more fun. Okay here we here we are with the Turkish League to round off I guess. Um Galatasaray topped that one um and um Beşik, Beşikte, or whatever however you say it um level points but behind on goal difference. Fedabachi in third, Beşiktaş in fourth and Antalyaspor, or however you say, and fifth. Um, so yeah, and then you got the well MLS starts again anyway. So uh, there was no way of knowing who won the MLS. But anyway, this was your massive simulation by FIFA 21 of all the uh, main football leagues you can you could you could, you could say um, in the world. And I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did like it and subscribe we've got plenty of videos like this on my channel of simulations and that we've got more fifa 21 content coming within the next week and the subscriber world cup on tuesday as well if you haven't um, put your entry on that one you can go on the video the most recent subscriber world cup the september one and drop an entry you can pick anyone you want um yeah, there are, like I said, I'll have Volta, I'll try that, I'll try, I'll do an actual career mode, just put down in the comments 
what um, team I should use. Should I go Premiership? Should I go La Liga? You know, I'm, I'm, I've got a 10 hour trial of this game, so I can't do that much. But I want to showcase on my channel what I feel about the game anyway. But anyway, this has been Toba Loco. Keep it loco, and I'll see you again for the next video.